The transaction type maintenance screen is used to set up accounts payable type transaction types that will be used when printing checks for electronic funds transfer payments for your vendors. These are only valid for vendors where electronic transfers are being done. It's not valid for vendors where you're physically printing out checks on a printer. These transaction types will be used in the EDI file that is created through the AP check program AP1300. That is the flat file that is sent to the bank and it's uh, the transaction type used to the, by the bank to define the type of payment. So if we enter query in the screen we can take a look at the transaction types that we've already set up on the screen. For example, transaction type uh, 430 is bill payments. Uh, 450 miscellaneous. And you can go into the screen and enter whatever transaction types uh, that are valid for your company and for your bank. If we fast track into vendor maintenance GB1000, we're going to query on a vendor that I've set up in the system. And we'll go into the electronic funds pop-up box and we can see the default transaction type here is 450. When we're entering invoices into the system through AP1100, the general invoice entry, AP1000, AP repetitive invoice entry, transaction type 450 will default on the screen although that can be overwritten. When you're running your cash application report AP1200 or your check print program AP1300, the screens have a range for transaction types if you wish to narrow down what type of checks that you will be producing. To summarize, these are strictly transaction types that are used in the accounts payable module for electronic funds transfers. That concludes the tutorial on the transaction type maintenance.